let's just dive into this. You clicked on the video so you know what it's about. The Caesar cipher is named after Julius Caesar because according to Suetonius, if he had anything confidential to say, he wrote it in cipher. That is, by so changing the order of the letters of the alphabet. So essentially what a Caesar cipher does is it takes a message comprising of a sequence of characters and a shift comprising of a number. It shifts each one of those letters uh, forward the characters according to the shift. So I'm gonna just show this picture. It'll make it a lot more sense. So A, if shifted by two, becomes C. D becomes F, and so the message attack at dawn becomes this convoluted encrypted message. Is it the most bulletproof encryption method? No, but we're not trying to protect ourselves from the Russians or the North Koreans here. We're just trying to learn some Python. All right, with the boring stuff out of the way, let's go ahead and code the Caesar cipher. All right, first thing, we need to define a function that will take the text message and the shift. So we want to make sure the object passed is a string of text and not any other kind of type. It'll make more sense while I type it here. So we're going to define C cipher, Caesar cipher. We're going to pass in text and shift. Great. Um, and like I said, if the type is not equal to a string. Let's return the input is not a string. All right, fantastic. So the, if the text is a string, then we'll move on into the actual function. We'll first uh, initialize empty string then with a for loop we'll iterate through every letter of the text and add it to the empty string we just initialized we'll need to convert the each letter to its unicode shift it and then after we've shifted it take that new unicode number and turn it back into its character we can do that with the character function and the ord function so we'll have the code that we're going to add to. We're going to first get the ORD or the Unicode of the letter. But remember, we want to also take that character. And then we also want to shift it. So to understand what this is, we're going to take the Unicode of each letter in the text. We're then going to shift it by whatever the input is. And then we're going to reconvert that into the character and add it to our empty string here. Once that's done, we'll want to return join code. So then we're going to, so what this essentially did was it created a list of letters inside the empty string. So then this join method is going to connect all of the letters together into one string. All right, and we should be good to go. We'll just go ahead and test it. Um, I already have a couple of tests here that are ready to go. So we're gonna go through these. You'll see the reason why we use the ORD is because once we get into numbers and we get into symbols, we don't have to create a dictionary list or something like that hard-coded into the program. The computer will just go to its Unicode and then shift it from there. Um, so you'll see what I mean. Let's go ahead and run this. It'll come out on this side here and boom. You can see ABC is shifted once to BCD. B, One, two, three, shifted three times is four, five, six. We tried to pass in an integer and it returned our, the input is not a string. So that works. This is all numbers and symbols here. That works. 
and we can even put an entire sentence here in different capitalizations and whatnot and it still works uh, you can see it's a pretty short little assignment tutorial here but it was one of my the first programs that i wrote uh, one of my first assignments so i thought i'd share with you guys how to do it um, pretty cool little easy encryption method here that Julius Caesar used himself. Uh, I hope you found this interesting and helpful. It's a good little project to do if you're a beginner. Uh, if you think you can improve on it, let me know in the comments. Um, and if you want to see more tutorials, let me know. Thanks. Bye.